Hey guys, Coach Enoch here. I want to talk to you guys today about protein. As runners, I know we're often concerned with carbohydrates and electrolytes and hydration, all those things, but protein is a vital part of our overall daily health as well as our athletic performance and most importantly our recovery. So basically protein is the building blocks of our body. Pretty much everything, our muscles, tissues, ligaments, organs, skin, hair, nails, all those and more are made up of protein. But protein itself doesn't actually give us energy when we consume it. Usually we burn carbohydrates or fat and fat being kind of a more even burning energy, carbohydrates kind of that quick punch. So Hope to cover those in a future video, but we're just gonna to stick to protein today. So first off, to, before you kind of go into protein, it's important to figure out which category we're in. First, there's those of us that are looking to lose weight. You may say, I'm reducing calories, I'm reducing all that, but you still need protein because most likely you're looking to burn fat, break down fat, not break down muscle. And if you're not getting enough protein in your diet and you're exercising like most of us are with our running, then you're going to break down your muscle. That's not good for your health. It's not gonna be good for your long-term weight gains. Plus having protein in your diet along with fat at your meals actually helps keep you satiated so you eat less, reduces cravings, and you get the protein and the fat that you need for more even energy. You're not just doing a roller coaster of spikes of carbs, hungry, carbs, hungry, and that's a vicious cycle. So protein's important for those people. It's also really important for those of us that are looking to gain weight as well, or to build muscle mass. And many of us with running, we're looking to kind of maintain or maybe slightly build. So that's why it's really important to know how much protein you need. So if you're looking to really build muscle mass, you can go all the way up to one gram of protein per pound of body weight. And that also, you should probably be lifting heavy, exercising quite a bit as well. You can go up to that one gram, especially during a phase where you're looking to put on muscle mass. The next group is kind of where a lot of us, I think, fall into is we may be looking to tone up or burn some fat or kind of maintain muscle mass or slightly build some muscle mass, especially as we get older. That's really vital for our health and maintaining muscle mass because as we age, we break down naturally. So it's really important that we're building it back up and getting adequate protein. So here's where I want to be really clear. The recommended range is around 0.5 to 0.9 grams of protein per pound of body mass. So if you weigh 200 pounds and you wanted to you know, be on the bottom end of that range, you're looking at like you know, 100 grams of protein. If you're looking kind of to go up from there, it could be 150 or you know, even a little bit more depending on where you fall in that range. So do the math on that. Try to track for a couple of days, kind of see where you're falling. I think you'll be surprised that many of us are under you know, not in that range or at the bottom of that range. And if you're active, that's like an hour a day on average of exercise, it's really important to be kind of higher up in that range, especially if you want to maintain or build muscle mass. So another important thing is your body can only absorb about 25, 20 to 35 grams, 35 being the maximum generally at any one time. So it's really important that we space out our protein throughout the day. And that's why I really recommend to eat you know, bring a shake, bring a snack, something with protein for right after your run, especially when you're driving to a run. Because if you don't do that, it's gonna be hard in those three meals a day. That's only you know 105 grams if you went to the maximum each of those three meals to get enough. So we need some protein rich snacks maybe right after our workout. Then we have breakfast, you know, 30 to 60, 90 minutes later. Then we have lunch, then maybe you have dinner and a snack after dinner, which could be like a protein shake or something like that but check how much you need, figure that out, and try to play around with working that in. It really makes a huge difference in our recovery. And getting it right after can help, but it's really about making it where you can space it out. So I'd love to see more of us showing up to the runs with protein. Also, um, protein powder, something like ProMix, what I use, collagen protein, really recommend it. Super easy mixes in water, which is great. And it's great for our skin, hair, nails. It kind of goes where your body needs it. Super easy to absorb or whey protein. For some of us, it doesn't always agree with our stomach, can make you a little gassy, whereas the collagen seems to sit a little easier. Whey protein, I recommend combining it with fat, you know, like in a smoothie or something like that, and then it often sits a little bit better and doesn't cause as much of those issues. For those of you that are vegan or want a different option, I recommend blends. You don't really want to do pea protein straight up because it's heavy in metal, so you can have a pea, brown rice, you know, some other things mixed in there where it's a nice blend of different vegan um, protein sources. 
Uh, from there, one final warning, you know, if you um, have a history of like kidney stones or kidney issues in your family, processing more protein can be a strain on your body. So then you want to kind of stay in that lower range or consult with your doctor to make sure. So I hope this helps you know, get you motivated to show up with more protein after practices, uh, to come prepared, and to also just be aware of how much you need, do the math, count kind of how much protein you're getting for several days. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Hope you enjoyed this video and uh, let's run strong.